think so. All right, the time being 10 o'clock, I'll go ahead and bring this meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, roll call. Evening. Here. Close. Here. Kettering. He is, I'm going to call him on, uh, via phone. He wanted to be on the speaker phone. All right, Don, I uh, got you on speaker phone. Is that okay? I'm here, yeah. Okay, Don is here. Kettering. All right, you got to say you're here, Don. Don, are you there? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Clemish. Here. Do any of the commissioners have a reason to abstain for a financial or finan non-financial conflict of interest at this time? We'll stay up, sir, over here. No. 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 Don, do you have a reason no. to? No. No. Okay. Next item on the agenda, item number four, approval of the agenda. Entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion pass. Next item on the agenda, item number five, public comment. Is there any, anybody care to make a public comment at this time? Seeing or hearing none, I'll go ahead and close public comment. Next item on the agenda, item number six, claims. Right. Yes. Any questions on the, on the uh, claims? I'd move approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. All right, next item on the agenda, a 2020 wage increase for Laura Swenson. Rob, would you, were you gonna take this one or? Uh, I, I can, my, um, my understanding was that um, it was approved as into that number. That was that request that I made for Laura Swenson. I'm going to do, I don't have a job description for you yet, and I am sorry, I was going to get it to you today. Um, the, care, the job description, I believe, would be um, like a legal assistant, uh, legal secretary is what I was going to do, and then use the mm -hmm. definition of that, and then come to like the educational or work experience to get to that level. But I'll get you that at a different time. So I do apologize for not having it to you today, but I'll try to get it to you the next meeting or the next meeting so we have it and then kind of follow some kind of formula on a step increase or something too on sure. the comment. I, I believe she's been here 20 plus years. Wow. Um, she's done a, she's a tremendous asset to the county and, and to the office mm -hmm. and she um, does a great job. So I would request if, if um, the commission agrees and adopts that request that I made. So, did you want to do that today, or did you want to wait till you had the description, or what? Did, what did you? Oh, want to today, do? today, Dan would be my request, and I'll get you the description based on where she is and what qualification she has to. So, I guess what what is her salary now, and what where is she going? I guess to it says uh, she's going to twenty four ten an hour where is she close to that now or is it a is it Dan, i i don't know so i do apologize okay. Sure. um okay we can we can wait a moment. Dan, I'm okay if we want to maybe bringing it up in a week or two, because I guess I wasn't necessarily thinking, but we pay at the end of the month for the okay. beginning of the month. So the, the, 
the not the next meeting, but the next meeting would probably be the time I'd bring it to you. Sorry, because I'll be gone. Eric will be here for the next one, that Tuesday, like the sixth or fifth or whatever. Okay. But I, I'm okay either way. I'm okay either way. <coughs> what does the board want to do? Do we want? Twenty sixty one. Do we want to wait until the next meeting, or do we want to proceed today? How does the board want to handle this? I'm okay to proceed today. Um, I know this has been going. It's yeah. It's been discussed for quite some time, so or requested, I should say. Yes. Right. So I'm okay proceeding. Yeah, myself. I'm okay with doing it today too. Okay. But I'd just like to note too that Laura Swenson is no relation to me. She's a S O N. I'm okay. a S E N. So okay. No conflict of interest there. Sure. Sure. Okay. What's your thoughts, Sherry? You wanna? I'm I, good. All right. All right. Well, somebody won't care to make a motion on the 2020 wage, wage increase? Oh, I thought Don said yes. I, I think he's good. talking to somebody else. I'm not really sure what's oh, going okay. on. Okay. Um, I would uh, make the motion. And Patty, do you want me to just include the total dollar? Yes. Okay. Well, so. We need a, a motion to approve the position, right, Ralph? First. Yes. Okay. Oh, we got to do a position. I I guess without a job description. It's, just, not, it's you know, not on the job description. Yeah. With and there isn't a job description for this. I guess it, you know as much as I I'd like to help out Miss Swenson right away. I, I guess me personally, I'd almost like to see a job description, so we know what we're approving before we we do that. Uh, That's fine. I, I mean, every, we're certainly. You know, that's you just can my do opinion. That on the, but, uh, the January seventh. Yeah. Um, when we close out the year. Yeah. That give you enough time, Rob. That does. I'll get well, we'll it to you by then. We'll have like old business. Okay. We'll finish that in old business, and then we'll reorganize. Okay. okay. Is that fine with everybody? I think that maybe that's a little bit cleaner. Yep. So, is that all right with you, Don? We're going to wait uh, until we get a job description at the next meeting. You there, Don? Will it, will it be retroactive then? Will it go we'll into? We'll just start in January with every other. Okay. One. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay. I think Don's okay with that. So, uh, if that's all right with everybody, we'll just do that. Put that on the agenda for next meeting. Is that fine with everybody? Fine. With the mm -hmm. job description and uh, if we could have what our pay is now and what it's going to, both hourly and yearly, I think that would be helpful. So, all right. Well, we will have that at the next meeting. Moving on, contingency. Uh, we have to do the ways for the employees and then uh, a motion for if the board is, will be getting a raise. Okay. Where, where is that? I don't know. That's under the wage. The wage increase. Is it? I didn't see it. I guess I don't. All I have under that is Laura Swenson. Yep. You need a motion for the 2.4%. Correct. And, and then, then um, the one for that you guys decided that you weren't getting any. Sure. Right? I need a motion for both. Okay. So I'll make I'll make the motion for uh, um, 2020 county employee wage increase of 2.4 percent. Second. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion. And you said how many percent? 2.4. 2.4. I have a motion and a second. Is there further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passed. All right. Was there anything else for that one? Yep. And then, and now for the okay. So then I'll make a motion for the uh, county commissioner's um, wage increase to be a 0% for 2020. Second. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion pass. No Christmas presents next year. Right. I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, is anything else on the wage increase? We're finished with that one, Patty? Okay. Next item, contingency transfers. Did you want to um, explain any of these? It's just... Uh, Transferring money in yep, the, to some of um, these accounts, correct? The departments, yep, that are. Okay. 
that have a minus balance. Okay. And would we do this all in one motion, contingency yeah. transfer to all of these? Anybody on the board have any questions about any of these contingency transfers? The motion can be just um, uh, for um, contingency transfers submitted by the auditor. Okay. Hearing no questions, I would entertain a motion for the contingency transfers as recommended by our auditor. Move to approve the contingency transfers. I have a motion, is there a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion pass. Next item, budget, budgeted cash transfer. So uh, could you explain these for a minute? How are these different than the other ones? This is just a, a budget, the cash transfer from mm -hmm. general fund into these two funds, mm -hmm. highway and emergency management. Okay. And it's nothing extra. It's just it's built into that budget, into the okay. budget. Entertain a motion for budgeted, unless, I guess, is there any question, <coughs> questions first? Mm -hmm. Entertain a motion on the budgeted cash transfer as so moved. recommended by the auditor. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion? All those in yeah. favor? Yeah. Yes. This is Don. Yes. Uh, my only thought was uh, uh, on that, but is it, I think it would be nice and, and, and maybe easier for us and others to uh, understand and reassure ourselves if if we could have uh, Patty uh, take last year's proposed budget and uh, calculate total expenditures under each major department. So we can really uh, uh, understand where uh, transfers and, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, occurred. Do you want for, the next meeting? for the next for the, meeting, yeah. Now is that too soon, or? No, 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 or no for the next meeting? Is that what you're talking about, Don? Yeah, if we could get it, so we could look at it in January, just so we okay. We know we know what departments are spending uh, exactly, and it, it kind of gets for me. It gets uh, a little confusing during the year when we transfer funds in and out, and uh, from the general and, and uh, the budgets are pluses and minuses. Uh, on, on that report that we review, but I think if we if we took the the uh, the, the beginning uh, accounts payable and the ending accounts payable and adjusted them, uh, we could find a very accurate uh, uh, analysis of uh, expenditures under each department. Good example is is, is juvenile. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we probably budgeted, I, I don't have it in front of me now, but say we budgeted 10000 and I imagine we spent uh, sixty or 70000 yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it would be nice to know those numbers pretty precisely. Okay. Everybody in agreement with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We'll have that uh, for the next meeting then. Thank you, Don. Yep, thank um, you. So I had a motion and a second. Uh, is there further, th further discussion on budgeted cash transfers? I had a motion by Healy, seconded by Lost. Correct? Yes. Okay. Is there further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion pass. All right. Next item on the agenda, the levy change. Do you want to explain this to us too, Patty? Oh, we just we approved the budget and okay. then we had an election for that new road district. Okay. So the levy changed. It went up to what? point six three two. Okay. And that's because of the new was road it district. That went out by Riverside Acres. It, yeah. is it Lewis and Clark Lu West. Lewis and Clark West, okay. So you just <coughs> need a, a motion to adopt No, a, I just needed that I had uh, there's no motion need to be mm. um, just I have to mention it in the minutes. Okay. So the Levy went from 
point six two nine to point six three two. Okay. And all we have to do is just mention it in the minutes. No resolution. Okay. okay. Any questions on the levy change from anybody? No. All right. Right. Moving on. Next item. Well, I, yeah. on that on the budget of cash transfer mm -hmm. and all these cash tra the mm -hmm. contingency transfers. If any of these departments are in in the red, or especially cash is in the red, mm -hmm. then the state auditors do not like that, and I get written up for that if it is in the hole. So that's why we have to do the cash transfers and the budget transfers. Well. We don't want to get you in trouble, Patty. So. <laughs> All righty. That makes sense. All right, well, we got a few minutes before our hearing for temporary 2020 zoning, so four minutes. We're ahead of schedule. That's always nice. All right, the time being 1020, we'll go ahead and move on to item number seven. Next item on the agenda, item number seven, hearing for an emergency temporary 2020 zoning ordinance and map. Uh, Gary, did you want to explain this to us? Or, or? Basically, we've been talking about it for a while, and we've, we've had a, a number okay. of uh, public comments in regards Ge to maybe it's... Oh. Okay. Basically, we've been talking for a while, and, and we've had a lot of public comment about possibly moving forward on a temporary emergency zoning ordinance change so basically this is what's in front of you today um, we just took took the uh, current ordinance and and took out all the old affidavits publications dates and things and and uh, just made that the new temporary zoning ordinance okay. as shown with a new name so is there any changes to, to, to anything from the current zoning ordinance we have minus uh, notifications and there is like not. That? not one letter or not one word has changed. This is the same zoning ordinance we've been living under for 13 going on 14 years. So, okay. Any questions for Mr. Vetter from the board? Hmm. Anyone from the audience care to speak on this? Now would be the time to do so. Get that cleaned. Would you like to speak, Mr. Don? Yes, I would. Thank you. Uh, Welcome, name, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, my name is Brian Donahoe, and I'm returning from Sioux Falls. I represent Carl Schenk and Joshua Johnson in regard to zoning matters here in Yankton County that are ongoing. And I have actually had several questions about uh, this emergency ordinance. The specific statute that this is being uh, adopted under is SDCL 11-2-10, which only allows emergency measures for limited purposes in an emergency, and it requires that the purpose be protecting the public health, safety, and general welfare. And the statute actually says that you can adopt, quote, as emergency measures a temporary zoning ordinance and map and a temporary subdivision ordinance, the purposes of which are to classify and regulate uses and related matters as constitutes the emergency, end quote. It's not clear to me exactly what the emergency is. And the reason why I bring this up is because I believe it was precipitated by pleadings that were filed by my client, Carl Schenk, in mid-November relating to just a small part of your ordinance, the 2006 amendments. And in that regard, it would not appear that a wholesale adoption of the entire set of zoning ordinances could in any way, shape, or form be necessary to address any emergency because there's been no court or other determination on those 2006 amendments being void. And in fact, we've asked repeatedly, is there some evidence that would provide for a basis to say that the 2006 amendments were properly adopted. If not, if there would be any admission by the county that they were not properly adopted, then they would be void, and 
both my clients would be entitled to building permits and we've applied to those building permits and been denied on the basis that there's been no court determination that th those amendments are void. Now, if this is actually an emergency, it can only be an emergency if, in fact, that 2006 set of amendments is void. So you have two issues. One is why adopt it for something beyond the 2006 amendments instead of just adopting the 2006 amendments. But more importantly, this would appear to be an admission that the 2006 amendments are void, and therefore why were my clients building permits denied? Or are we just going to go through the entire process here and then have SEC 11-2-10.1 apply, which will be an injunction against the county in calling this emergency building ordinance void. I don't want to get into that and have that be necessary. The problem that we have is you talked about this several times, but nobody's ever said, yes, in fact, we do have an emergency because the zoning ordinance wasn't properly adopted. If that is the case, if there is still some consideration of studies, and that's, that's actually what's set forth in the zoning ordinance, uh, a comprehensive plan, and then things to address the specific land uses. If you're going to study something within that, I could understand where you might try to apply 11-2-10 to address whatever the specific study is about. I'm not sure that there's any study that's being conducted for the entirety of the zoning ordinance. I don't know what that would be. And so throwing out all of these things here for you to consider, it would seem impossible that the county could be in such a state of emergency that would be required to actually adopt this wholesale. If you're adopting something on a contingency basis just in case a court does rule against the county, I don't understand how that can be an emergency. And furthermore, my clients have never said they would do anything different with their buildings. They simply want to have this issue resolved, get the building permits, move on. So my clients have not made it an emergency because their simple requests are consistent with building permits that they already had or any other issues that they might bring up prospectively for new building permits would be consistent with what they've done in the past. And if there's some public safety matter or public health matter, that needs to be addressed by this county and identified specifically to form the basis for any emergency measures here. You're not doing that. You're just going way beyond that. So with all that being said, I also question why you're short-circuiting the process that's set forth in the statutes for planning commission input. In fact, what you're adopting, according to the packet that has been presented to the county commission here for this meeting, it says it was, it was uh, considered by or it was <coughs> drafted by the planning commission and the county commission. There's no dates for that. It's on the face, face page of the, the ordinance that you're proposing to adopt. And I don't understand how that could possibly be. I'm not aware of any county commission or planning commission meeting in which the specifics of this particular emergency uh, measure were considered. I know there was a lot of talk in general about things, but it was never discussed in detail. And then suddenly there's a hearing notice the Saturday before Christmas. And then this meeting held between Christmas and New Year's on an alleged emergency basis. And in fact, during a day when there is no travel advice in Yankee County. Uh, obviously, I'm here. My clients are represented. We're not claiming that they weren't able to get here, unlike other meetings where we, have, where we haven't been able to be here and have representation. But that's the point. We've made extra efforts to get here to address this because in the past it's just been ignored or we haven't had our, our voice heard. And in regard to this, the process that's set up in the statutes, the county is supposed to go through that process for specific reasons. Most important of which is that if you look at the Pennington County case versus Moore from 1994 that this county may be relying on, that first rule that it, it would be, in fact, necessary to hold an improperly enacted zoning ordinance void, well, that county was subject to the entire zoning ordinance at that time being declared void. And so there was some language in that particular Supreme Court ruling that talked about how to prevent chaos and have emergency hearings and things like that with uh, SDCL 11-2-10. That's not the situation. We have not you. raised that issue in regard to the entire ordinance being invalid. That's not what we're talking about. And to the extent that the process allows for landowners whose rights are being taken away by the ordinances here, 
you're required to go through that planning commission process, then the county commission process, and if you don't, then it's void. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Would anyone else care to speak on this topic? Now would be the time to do so. All right, seeing and hearing none. Go back to the board. Any questions from the board? I have a question for the attorney. Go ahead. Um, Mr. Donahue? Is it Donahue? I don't know. Yes, sir. You represent uh, Johnson's and Carl Schenck? Joshua Johnson and Carl Schenck. Okay. Um, I just got a simple question. Uh, Mr. Johnson, how many hog barn CAFOs does he currently have in operation right now? I believe Mr. Johnson has none. None? He was, he was constructing his first barn and uh, has been subject to the requirement that he appeared before the Board of Adjustment on, on the issue of the okay. permit. Okay, that's right. That's his, that's his dad that's got the other one. They don't have the same one. His dad is Louie. I represent Joshua Johnson on the one okay. I, I'm okay. not aware of. Okay, he has one. none. Okay, but it, okay. The other question is how many hog barn CAFOs does Carl Schenck currently have in operation? I'm not here to address the number of hog barns that he has in operation. No, I'm just asking you a question. And you asked that at the other hearing and it was not pertinent to that hearing. I don't believe it's pertinent to this hearing. Well, to the extent that it it's it's be, about nine, isn't it? To the extent that it would be, I would have to have One, two, three, four, five, nine. six, seven, eight, nine. I don't hear too good, so. Or okay. nine are like we called it in the Army. And you know what? If he had more that he was seeking, he would still have the same rights. I'm not saying anything. I just asked the numerical number. He has, he has about nine K full hog barns, correct? That's a matter of public record, and I am not going to sit here and debate with you. I'm not debating. I just asked a question. All right. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate Thank you. it. Um, any other questions from anyone on the board? Don, that, that is one of the things that was discussed and, and one of the comments that was made is that since they were moving forward on a, on a new, new article, 2020, basically that they wanted a fresh copy with everything cleaned out, so. Mm -hmm. You know, I've reviewed this uh, over the weekend with the zoning ordinance we have and I could not find one single letter that was different than the original now there's been uh, notifications that have uh, been removed and there's places where it said amended in 2006 or 2008 now those have been cleaned up but as far as any of the definitions or anything like that it is verbatim of, of what we have now well, I, I reviewed it uh, mm -hmm. too, Dan, and, and, mm -hmm. and I, I found the same thing. Uh, sure. well, I didn't find the deletions, but uh, mm -hmm. I didn't find any changes. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I, I just I, I, there is a, a, a process that uh, that you can show red line changes uh, in documents from one to another. It makes it a lot simpler than going through 198 pages of reading them line by line. I guess it also makes it a lot messier if you have, you know, well, I think that 50 be... pages that are redlined out. I mean, it kind of makes it, in my opinion, messier as, as well. I, I get your point. But sorry, I, did you well, I, didn't say, I think that can be provided, maybe not yeah. at this very second. But um, I mean, to my knowledge, and, and Mr. Vetter is the one that went through this and, and can attest, I guess, the that there was no change to the the meat of the ordinance if you want to call it um 
other than removing some of the updates and the uh, affidavits previously put in there. Well, and, and uh, my thoughts are it's, it, it's extremely important that we have uh, a zoning ordinance in place that, uh, that effectively uh, manages the growth of the county. Uh, and uh, so, so I, 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 I believe uh, if if uh, a tech if if the ordinance it can be uh, put in place in the process that we're going through, uh, it, it it's it, it's better than the option of not having any zoning at all in the county. I would agree. If, since we don't know. Uh, legally, where we're at on those uh, 2006 uh, actions, uh, I, I think we do need to have some zoning in place. I, I would agree, Don. We have to take, protect the safety, health, and welfare of the community. You know, in all the discussions for the 2006 changes, um, happened in 2006 and there, there's a reason we got this ordinance to where we're at today and you know, one of the concerns with with this being challenged today is it's not restricted to two two applicants that that the uh, mr. Donahoe represents it there's been numerous new applications um, Assuming that the 2006 is going to be thrown out and and some of those are in places according to the ordinance today They would not be cited um, And so, you know, I certainly think there's concern for the safety health and welfare of the county in that exactly. regard Yeah, we've been following under these rules for almost 14 years and to have these rules pulled out from under us um, That could create and you know a, a real real emergency did you have anything sherry no my understanding is other counties have been in the same mm -hmm. situation yeah. recently and mm -hmm. um, essentially readopted their entire ordinance again yep. uh, because you, you you can be challenged on anything these days yep. I will add I think it, it is imperative that when we enact this that we do diligently look towards through the comprehensive plan mm -hmm. look to to a readoption um, of the ordinance and, and make sure that we are going through the steps and making yep. sure this is exactly where the county needs to yep. be and where we in fact do want to be would agree so an analogy would be kind of like uh, you're just getting remarried again <laughs> got to put a little humor in this you yes know? <laughs> <laughs> can't be so serious yeah, yeah exactly Uh, and I, I spoke with uh, with uh, Mr. Vetter, and we spoke with uh, Attorney Zach Peterson, uh, who deals with zoning, and he said this is one of the clearest cases and examples he's seen where we need emergency zoning controls. Other counties have implemented them where they just might not have zoning, and we and we really do have an emergency in in uh, my opinion, and we have an obligation to protect the safety, health, and welfare of our community. Did you have anything else you'd like to add, Don? Or? Well, I, I, I don't know about the level of emergency, mm -hmm. and, and I yeah. haven't followed the numbers. Uh, sure. Uh, the, the applications in December, but uh, uh, we need to we need to uh, get the uh, final thing adjusted, the final comprehensive plan adjusted to the place that we want it to be as soon as we possibly can i would agree 100 percent so anything else from anyone on the board anyone care to make a motion i'd move to adopt a uh, document yankton county zoning ordinance 2020 presented um, Pursuant to South Dakota codified law 11.2.T. 
10. Do we add in order to protect the safety, health, and welfare in Yankton order to County? Protect the healthy health, safety, and welfare of Yankton County. Does that sound like a good motion, Rob, for this? Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion? My well, only concern on the whole thing is that we haven't made a uh, strategic or uh, error in, in the transition from the original one to this one that, that, that makes a meaningful change in any of the categories. And mm -hmm. we're all familiar with, with the old one. I'm not sure we've all had time to review and go through this one in the detail that, that it takes. This is the same sure as... There's no change. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I know I've gone through every single page and, and there is no change um, from this one to the one we've been working under under um, for the last 14 years. Uh, but I'd be willing to, I guess, Commissioner Healy and I can sit down and go through with this and give a report at the next meeting and a path forward. Well, I think also the path forward, mm -hmm. you know, this would be, be the emergency yeah. um, emergency controls in place, and then the path forward is to go through the proper channels of, mm -hmm. of uh, yep. the, count, the Planning and Zoning Commission review, um, yep. as well as the County Commission review, and then officially adopt, yep. adopt anything. Does that answer your question, Don? Yep. Okay. So I have a motion and a second. Is there further discussion? Roll call vote, please. Healy? Yes. Lose? Yes. Swenson? Yes. Kettering? Yes. Clement? Yes. Motion pass. Did you want to uh, stay on the phone for the approval of the road safety improvement project, Don? Sure. Okay. All right. We'll keep you. We'll, we'll keep you here. All right, next item on the agenda, item number eight, approval of the road safety improvement project with South Dakota DOT, Mr. Sedlacek, welcome. I guess this is uh, pretty simple. It's a uh, program that the DOT uh, puts out. It's 100% paid for. Um, and what it is is uh, a rumble strip signing project where our signing project is done. Um, putting rumble strips in uh, uh, before a few stop signs areas. Um, 438, um, 448, 451, 303, um, 431, 294, and 435. I can get you a better description on them if you want. Um, mainly where they are adjoining a state highway. It's like 435, that'd be just north of the, it'd be the Utica Road just north of 50, just south of 46, them two areas. Uh, same with uh, 430, just north of 50, south of 46. So, and this is all 100% paid for by the state. I like that. I guess all I need is a contract signed and a copy of the minutes and I can turn it into the DOT. Any questions from anyone on the board on this? Any questions from anyone on the in the audience? So I'd entertain a motion. Uh, move to approve the State of South Dakota Joint Powers Financial and Maintenance Agreement between Department of Transportation and Yankton County for 2020. Second. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion? Roll call vote, please. Close. Yes. Swanson? Yes. Healy? Yes. Kettering? Yes. Uh, yes. Motion pass. You want to give us a quick update on Jamesville Bridge while you're here? Not much has changed on Jamesville. Uh, 
We're waiting for quotes to be returned. Uh, that, I guess that's the next step. So as soon as we get something uh, back from the contractors, we'll bring it to in front of the commission here for you guys to approve uh, which contract to go. Tom, but when, when do you think we're going to have that by? Hoping within the next week or two. Okay. By next meeting, hopefully. Next, Top priority. next week is going to be tough. All right. Well, do what you can. It's, uh, with All the right. holidays and everything, it's just. Sure. Okay. Anything else for Mr. Sublachik? Thank you very much. Stay warm. Thanks, Stay Mike. warm, yeah. Get those roads safe. Uh, Gary, do you think we need a separate motion for uh, to approve the map as well? I guess I was thinking about that. Let's. Uh, I want to go back to item number seven because um, we did an emergency temporary zoning ordinance and a map. So I think maybe we should do a, a yes. Motion, I would agree that a motion to uh, adopt motion the map to adopt as well. And have the chair sign. So, so we did adopt the temporary zoning ordinance, but. Um, we also, I feel, do you, do you think that's the right way to do it, Mr. State's Attorney, to drop the map as well? If that's what your intent is, and okay. that's included in there. Okay. Somebody care to make a motion on adopting the, the map as well? make a motion to um, adopt the Yankton County zoning map as presented pursuant to South Dakota codified law lost it 11 dash 2 dash 10 I have a motion and a second further discussion roll call vote please yes Swanson? yes 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 Yes. Yes. Motion pass. All right. Next item on the agenda, item number nine, public comment. All right. Anybody care to make a public comment at this time? All right. Seeing or hearing none, we'll go ahead and close public comment. And next item on the agenda, item number 10, items for next meeting. We already had the uh, uh, wage increase for Mrs. Swenson, and then uh, I, I will get Jessica Atkinson on there as well. Okay, Jessica Atkinson. Uh, did you have anything you'd like to add for the next meeting, Mr. Swenson? I think so. Okay, Joe Sherry. Not this time. No. And the uh, the final P and L from 2019. I think that's what Don was asking for essentially. Okay. Did you have anything, Don, you'd like to add for the next meeting? Okay. Budget okay. And then. When it come up, I don't. It, okay. The next meetings are too soon, but. Uh, okay. Sometime in the month of January. Okay. And then I'll get with Commissioner Healy and we will uh, get a plan together for um, our zoning op uh, adoption of zoning ordinance. Anything else from anybody? I'd right, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you, everybody.